Hello, welcome. My name is Cameron Stewart. I'm the Senior Technical Marketing Manager here at SolarEdge. And today we're gonna to look at small rooftop commercial using our SolarEdge design tool. Okay, so we've drawn all of our obstacles. Now it's time to get into some 3D modeling. So we're gonna click the 3D button. And now you can see what the roof looks like as a 3D model, but we haven't defined any height to anything. So this is a two-story building. So I'm gonna say that the uh, outside edge is probably, the outside parapet, uh, we can manually lower it and raise it by left-clicking and dragging. So I can increase that by left-clicking and dragging. And we can say, oh yeah, it's uh, 52 feet or four inches. Probably for a two-story building, it's probably closer to 40 feet. So I'm gonna say uh, 42 and a half feet, or you can type it in. You can say, oh, it's actually, you know, 44 feet and press enter. And once you press enter, it'll, uh, it'll change the roof edge. You can also do the same on the interior. And we can say that maybe the interior is five feet less or four feet less than the outside edge. So I'll say 40 feet. Okay, that looks good. Fantastic. And you can see that now if I click the uh, when I get to PV module placement, if I click the shading button, you'll be able to see the impact of shading. Let's also assign a height to the mechanical cover. So that's probably about, I'm going to say 15 feet off of the roof surface. Uh, it's pretty tall up there. You can see the impact of the shadow. We can assign a small height here. That's probably one foot, uh, maybe a, a, a small height there, a small height here. That's Definitely not two and a half feet. That's maybe yeah, one and a half feet. Roof access is probably six inches. Uh, these vents have a little bit of height. So we'll say yeah, one and a half feet and two feet there. Cool. Oh, we forgot this one. And then maybe two feet here. Okay. So we have all of our obstacles with their, their respective heights and that's looking like a pretty cool 3D model. Uh, let's get to our PV module placement. 